population bomb is stronger. He's gonna get <laughs> all the T spikes up he needs. I wonder how. Whoa, that's doing work. What? This guy is dangerous. And we are back for another edited version. It should be Saturday when this is going up. And yeah, we're gonna try mouse hold once more. We have a bit more defensive backbone, so we uh, have Toxapex, Galviant, Gal Iron Valiant, and Dragonite. Now, Dragonite is beautiful because it combines well with Zone as well. Zone as well, as well, as well, as Zone as well. Um, and Pex adds, uh, it covers a lot of months. Uh, I believe somebody commented and asked, Jam, why is Pex being used? Isn't it just sit fodder? And this is a great example here, for example. Why am I repeating shit? Uh, Volk and Valiant, while neither are walled per se by Pex, the ability to regenerate, recover, and act as a pivot, some even run eject button, um, which is something else someone suggested, uh, is, is just amazing. And so, Mousehole could do his damn thing in this one. Uh, someone else, because I read your comments obviously, also is like, yeah, we could make it Terrifier so you could hit Volk or not Fear Wisp. Um, with the Marshall Marshall because you're par probably guaranteed to get flame body versus the Volk. Uh, that's the thing. Um, I don't know if it's worth it, but uh, it's, it's something to consider. But anyway, all that stuff being said, uh, what are we gonna do to win this game? There are a couple things we could do. We could Dragonite pretty easily. Um, Valiant could overwhelm decently um, with Thunderbolt interestingly enough uh, since Pex Pex shuts down Volk for the most part this is Terra Ground if that's the case then Dragonite deals with it uh, so I'm gonna have Dragonite in the back overwhelm with Valiant in the interim um, my thing with the damn Glamour is that it could just sludge wave kill me turn one and then I have to touch it, so I guess the T spikes up. But I guess that doesn't matter that much. Um, see, I'll serve Valiant as well. Hmm. He does have a straight up Magnezone counter and Toad Screw. So what we're gonna be doing is, on the mid ground, we're going to, um, cause he's either gonna go Gold Dango or he's gonna, who goes Toad Screw on a Valiant? So this blows because now he gets the opportunity to spore. Mm -hmm. Now the upside is that he has no good spin. He, has, he does have spin blocker. Okay, so what, what? If I double down on Dragonite, excuse me. If I double down on Dragonite, I need more data. Mm -hmm. Part of me thinks he doesn't spore and spikes. Even if he does, so what I end up doing is I'm going to Toxic. He does go hard, go Dango. Uh, this may be Trick. Uh, this is a good mid-ground play for, for mid-ground opportunity for Zone for a couple of reasons. The beauty of it in Mouse Hold is that even though it doesn't have any real defensive um, prowess, I was like, I could go and go on Zone there and he just Earth Power kill me. Uh, even though it doesn't have any real defensive prowess, and I can feel that um, I'm going to be doing this uh, I can't do it today. I don't have the time, but I'm recording this now, so he does have trick. And the beauty of that is it's, it's assault vest sim, uh, which means that he can't trick back. Uh, which means my Dragonite guaranteed outspeeds me. My, my Magnezone is now 270, which isn't that great, but uh, the opponent here will likely Shadow Ball or go straight to Toad Screw. The beauty of that is that I get to Marsh Mouse, Mouse Hold and I have Substitute. Um, and what Substitute does is it prevents the likely spore he may try to go for. Now, Glamora, yeah, Glamora may come in. Um, and I get the opportunity to get rid of his Sash. Sure, he's going to get the Population Bomb. I mean, he's going to get all the hazards up. Hmm. Population bomb is stronger. He's gonna get <laughs> all the T spikes up he needs. I wonder how. Whoa, that's doing work. What? This guy.
guy is dangerous. This guy is dangerous. He may go to... Oh, even if he goes dangos. I mean, I don't think he'd ever go dango on the turn I just showed sub. So, I'm free to sub the first turn. Oh, he really did. And the beauty of this is that I get to tidy up, which gets rid of the T-spikes. Do I need to do that? I don't think Bite will kill him. Um, actually does Bite twice. Bite will to a KO him, yeah. Versus, oh wow, I forgot about the, wait, huh? No, Goddess Gold doesn't stop. Secondary effects, it just stops. So actually I can now tidy up. Um, so I might end up getting two kills, yeah. Oh, tidy up gets rid of your own sub. I did not know that. So I could kill his Volkir. I'd have to die. Um, but this has done so much. For once, Mousehold has done work. I'm killing it. As I said, you're pretty much guaranteed getting burnt. Uh, <laughs> but Volcarona is now gone, which means I don't have to be concerned about that with my Dragonite and Dragon Dancing. So really, um, once I get up... Uh, I'm not even gonna get up after. I just need to hit his Valiant. My Dragonite just wins, and this is still a problem, even though it's burnt. Like, yeah, he has to go to D Knight. Man, that's beautiful. So, what do we want to do here? We have a couple options. Um, I could Terra Ghost into a KO this. Do I need my Terra on my Dragonite? I'd like it more so because the Valiant. Um, Because if I go Susk, we are staring down Dragonite as it gets the opportunity to Dragon Dance. Hmm, it's actually not that great. I'm actually going to go hard picks here. Hididi is hard, which is interesting. I'll tear out this Toxic, which neutralizes him for my Tusk. Uh, if he has Substitute, I can Haze. I'm um, very surprised he Dragon Dance there, considering. I could have just population bombed, um, but I don't regret my play. Um, if I population bombed there, the Dragonite would be done. Uh, in fact, if I population bomb, would he get swept? It's a potential possibility. Oh, uh, now if he goes through the Ball of Shadows, if he if he goes through Shadow Ball, I get to muzzle. If he makes it rain, because um, I can now flash can uh, say Shadow Balls. Actually gonna go mouse hold here. Uh, if he makes it rain, I figured he'd shadow ball first. Uh, I've shown that bite can kill him. I have no reason not to just click it though. Uh, population bomb is always free because he got, can only think he can go back. Man, this thing is working. Yo, this boy working today. Yo, mouse not working today. Um, this is this is concerning. I have to go hard. Um. I don't have the pecs to wall this anymore. I have to go. Oh, right. I, I don't have a poison typing anymore. No, I forgot. <laughs> Shit. So my play there was, I need to tidy the fuck up then. Oh, no. My pex is poison. It's not the end of the world or nothing, but. Uh, Terra fairies. Yeah, that's not great. It's a speed tie at best. Mm, I just made a big mistake that turn, especially because I didn't consider Terra. So it could be Aura Sphere. What do I need to to win? I need my Valiant. My Valiant just Moonblast through his team. Um, I do need my D Knight. If I'm not careful, he's D Knight wins. Um, I can risk a turn if he does have like Focus Blast or something. Yeah, CC. Okay, CC. Um, I think my Dragonite still dies through sub. I made a really big mistake there. Um, which I'm not gonna get to tidy up. So what I can do is double out here. If he goes Golden Guy, excellent. I get to tidy up now, which frees my Tusk and my Valiant. Um, otherwise, it could have been problematic, especially because he goes D Knight, excellent, excellent. As he, I'd say he has to e-speed, but um, I get to val. Uh, do I? Yeah, I don't. The, the health on my valley doesn't matter. Plus one, you can't knock me out. I get to trick if he dragon dances, and he's already. Um, I'm faster, funnily enough. And he dragon dances again. So this is perfect. 
Now I get to Moonblast on Toadscrew. Uh, it goes Goldie, interesting. At well, least Assault Vest, so he took next to nothing from that. Uh, wow, and he goes Toadscrew now, which is what I expected last time. So now um, <clears throat> my Dragonite upon Dragon Dancing wins the game. Uh, uh, I need some damage on Valiant. No, I don't. I just need plus one EQ. I think plus one EQ should do the trick. Um, my Valiant wins some boots. So he hits Spore. What do these even run? They're on Hazard, Spin, Spore, and what, Giga Drain? So if he, yeah, I'm free to just Moonblast. I don't, I, I obviously he'd want to go down, but I want, okay, so he doesn't even go for the, I want to say Toad Screw. It doesn't matter if my Valiant's asleep though. Yeah, because if he switches out here, the only thing he could switch into uh, would be his own Valiant. Uh, it's, it won't end up mattering, but he goes to Deny, which is odd. Uh, for a couple reasons. I think that guarantees the game. <clears throat> nah, I can rocks. He probably sacks Golden going in to keep the spikes, but I have the mouse hold. Just, the, the rocks. Um, oh, he's actually just going for East Beast, man. But the rocks. Um, yeah, because now the Golden Go has to. Yeah, I get to free Dragon Dance now. Uh, he makes it rain too, which is even better because now I can Dragon Dance um, and it's guaranteed over now because the Dragon Knight uh, has to take multi-scale damage. Yeah, if you're making it rain repeatedly, I just roost back. That Mickey Rain did a lot to me. What the fuck? These boots, interesting. Um, I'm faster than in the Valiant anyway, and after plus one, I have 604 attack. That Valiant is dying to EQ. So I made a, a pretty... I forgot about his Terra and I forgot about my own T-Spike, so I, <laughs> after all that killing we did with Mouse Hole, I got a little too hype and got reckless, so, uh, yeah, yeah, my apologies for that, y'all. The Mouse Hole was for once doing something, I'm like, yo, this is what, you seen that Spongebob episode, this is what we've been waiting on. Uh, Magnet Zone is amazing in this game, unless it's Protean and he spikes. Um, so versus the grin out flash cannon straight up, even though I don't want to, but he doesn't have any good old switch switchings, but I lose too much momentum if he spikes because he gets three layers then if I'm assuming he'd be sash as well. Uh, mouse hold is decent. He has Don Dozo, so it's only decent. It depends on what it depends. Uh, if I tidy up bio speed, bolt and all the things, but the garg, if the garg turns from a non from rock type it's it's beastly uh valiant choice specs to kill his entire team so valiant's gonna be my guy i need to just kill his greninja on turn one uh dragonite can't do anything until um the dozo is gozo gonzo and for the most part he can't touch my pecs like really i can just sit with pecs no matter what so phase one's gonna involve as we said he could just thunder thunderbolt. He could the thunderbolt. Uh, I'd be super mad if he had like fucking low kick. Um, low kick. This is six hundred sixteen hundred. So like the low kick. Uh, Let him go send race and Volsa should have been clutch. Um, or he just goes for Specs Hydro Pump and I would have killed him. Uh, it's, what's the worst case scenario? I'm just, uh, like I get nut, but I know he's Specs. But I'd want this gone. If I could have it my way, I want this gone. What I could do is body press. Body press covers both, actually. It, it, it doesn't cover him switching. Because I do next to nothing to likely drag a bolt. So Flash Cannon would have been more, better. But he has U-turn and he's Protean. Yeah, so Flash Cannon was better. But as I said, if he Hydroed and he was Specs and such, it would have been a pain in the ass. So as I said, I'm curious more so to see what the hell he's going to do to my picks. Interesting. He's gonna try to trick it. Hmm. Mouse hold is good this turn. You got a trick. I don't want my. I don't want my Magnezone tricked. This is a risky play, I guess. Yeah. 
I didn't want Mouse Hole tricked necessarily, but I definitely didn't want Magnus on tricked. Last game it helped. Now he can trick again because he has his old vest, but now I can pivot back to zone that I've confirmed his item. He goes to Garganuckle. It allows for us to Volt Switch. If he stays in, he's going to go. This guy stays in. Volt Switch did 23, so Flash Cannon would have done a million. So that gives me a lot of insight as to um, whether this guy is thinking or not. Stays into Salk here. Yeah. That, that gave me all the data I needed. <laughs> so Nock is pretty much... Re uh, Great Tusk is, is just bodies him. So he's, he's playing the Garg. And I apologize for the slight eating. I'm hungry. And I'm munching on a bagel. As I get these recordings in. Um, Grin coming in. Uh, this is good and not great. Uh, it doesn't mean he can switch moves up. But he's weaker, I suppose. The Dark Pulse is... As I said, Pex, don't know how you're getting around this bad boy right here. As the dart, the, the surf comes out now. Because he has U-turn that, that fucks things up a bit. Um, for me. I wouldn't be shocked to see him trick again. Uh, but my Magna Zone won't be Scarfed. As long as it's not Scarf. Wildland Zone, I can't miss the Flash Cannon. Wow, I made this guy look like a fool just now. Especially because he committed his Terra. So I can Volt Switch here as he likely balls of Shadow. Um, and because he's an electric type now, I can spin, uh, I guess I, guess I could always spun, but there comes the guy nobody wants smoke with. No one wants smoke with this guy. Uh, Cinderace, 3,000% coming in, but it's not going to, what? Oh, no. Dozo? Oh, no. He, the fact that he switched it in means he's expecting to survive this second one. He could double out, but... Me Terra fairing, there's no downside. I don't need my Terra on anything else. G Knight's D speed isn't really what I'd be using anyway. Um, and all the things I would be using it on um, are are already going to die to Earthquake, uh, which Cinderace being numero uno. As I said, I don't know how you get past picks. So we just keep doing this and you go Garga, I assume. We go to. T um, and this is the part that's funny because he's already Terra. So he's not going to enjoy this this um, realization of, oh shoot, he's covered cloak. Now, he may be curse. I do have haze, so I'm not overly concerned about that. Um, as the opponent is going to shadow ball. Now, even if he thunderbolts, it doesn't matter. Uh, actually, my choice scarf. My choice scarf. I'll sold is actually kind of good. That's speed pull. Um... It means yeah, sack muscle, I get a kill. I don't get a kill because he goes Cinderace. I don't need this on anymore. Um, I can let him shadow ball. Shadow ball away, bro. Because I know that's what he was going to do. So that's why I uh, may have also my Thunderbolt here to cover for the mouse hole. The mouse hole in my household. Uh, but it's getting to the point where D Knight's going to eventually set up. Uh, but every time Valiant comes in, it's a KO. So Valiant is back. He'll get to get get away one time with this one hit on his Cinderace. Funny thing is, I don't think Ace could even kill me, but why risk the crit? So he gives the gold angle. He's like, I want no smoke with that guy. Boom blast as Ace likely comes in here. What else are you going to go to? Right, and you're going to click that fireball, pyroball, because if I stay in, he's done for in this town. So you got a pyroball. Um, and this is, the, this, this is a really good example of identifying your defensive positions. Right, I, I had a win con in offensive Valiant, but outside of win con in defending against every threat he could possibly um, do or anything he could do to me or whatever, you know, I'm trying to say. As you can tell, he's getting desperate when he's going for the freeze. Uh, I probably shouldn't risk this, but um, scum strats. Okay, he should have. Mm, let's recover again. So, yeah, Pex was just invincible. As we go for another! So, we are facing something a bit more cool. Uh, a bit cooler. This looks damn near like Mono Dragon Dark. <laughs> like, it's like Mono stuff. Like, the, the weird types, like Dark, Dragon, Fairy. Ghost. Those are what I call like the weird types. Poison. Types that you would, if, you know, if you were thinking about things, you're like, uh, why go with dark, right? It makes sense that it exists, but you also have to remember that dark types exist, but light types don't. 
could say, oh, well, psychic is, but well, psychic isn't quite light. Like, psychic is mind, um, like the psyche, right? Light is something different. Dark is a, the opposite of psychic. So, you know, it's like kind of arbitrarily. Let's pick dragon. Let's pick, I'll not say arbitrary, but, you know, let's pick steel versus not having a light or, you know, people talking about sound all these years. But anyway, um, Valiant doesn't even need the terror, just moon blasts away. Um, what's beautiful about it is that it's outspeed Zoro Arco. Um, and I can destroy him with Dragonite potentially. Now, the Glamora on lead is gonna always be a pain for the most part. But my Tidy Up Bro, Tidy Up Bro can sweep Bro in 3.5 seconds. So, question is, is is ultimately what I'm going to D Knight. Uh, he goes Valiant. This could be actual Valiant. This could be Zoroark. Either which, either which, either no matter the case, uh, Magnezon is phenomenal here versus both. Uh, it's bitter malice. Okay, so it was actually Zoroark. It's funny I was gonna earthquake, and that's spec. No, I think specs will do a little bit more. This is the last source of all switch here. Um, I have unveiled your strategy, and here comes my first kill as we Moonblast here. I think Glamora, I think Moonblast, well, it'll give me the Sash, which is blessed. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, I'm Terra killing you. Do I need my Terra for anything else? My Terra would, I could Terra D Knight, which would make me beat Dragapult. Because I wouldn't fear dragon darts. I could Terra. Pex. I could Terra Pex. <sighs> ah, it's. it's. I don't want any hazards up because it's going to be a pain in my ass afterwards. It's going to take a lot of work. And rocks weren't the, like the end of the world, but the, my main thing with Glamora is that if I switch and he just attacks, I might lose half my team to that shit. I don't know why he went Valiant, um, unless he's gonna Terra Fairy too. Either way, we go Pex. Okay, that was your grand plan. Now he has nothing for Pex. Like Pex sits and just sits and just sits and just sits, and he goes hard as Zoro. Zoro, ah, uh, let's just recover here. He plots, good plot. I covered. I accounted for that though. Um, I accounted for that. Yeah, damn near at full. Sure, I could have been crit, but I figured a crit wouldn't kill me. As long as I'm alive, I want pecs in. He doesn't want my pecs in versus his team. He doesn't want to deal with these pecs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's wrong? With what is wrong with me, guys? Uh, so test positioning is great because oh, that was, that's not what I expected, but I'm glad I did what I did. I I mean I'd be really shocked if he's terra flying. Terra flying could be problematic, but Pex can live one EQ and neutralize the. So he, he then why the fuck did you substitute? Why the fuck did you substitute? Huh? Why the fuck did you substitute? Now this is a problem potentially because. It can Terra Steel, and Terra Steel is probably the worst thing I could deal with. Um, but I have Mouse Hole that can do a lot of damage. Um, and Deny can take. So my worst case scenario would be him getting the opportunity to Nasty Plot and Draco for free. What to do here? I know what I can do. I'll zone first, because I know he's going to sub. Uh, if he's Dark Pulse... Some have Earth Power Draco or Earth Power Dark Pulse. Some have, like, it varies. Uh, yeah, so he plots, which is what I wanted. I actually should have Body Press there. Because he could have Terra Steel. Eh, Body Press this turn. Could Terra Steel. Because as long as he's open, like, he's vulnerable like he is now. Because I could Mouse Hold first, but Mouse Hold is slower than Valiant and um, Roaring Moon. Whereas Roaring Moon is walled. So now I can go hard Mouse Hold. Force the Terra, which will probably be steel. Must there's, is there a reason not to sub first turn? I guess he gets back six percent. Ah, damn. 
Well, this would have been the same situation anyway. He has to drag and move here. I could Valiant, but why not get the Toxic off? DDs. Let's Haze first. Good Terror Ghost. This is... Could have bit... Could have bit... I say I could have bited him. He's DD, so... Uh, Tusk takes him on. Uh, I could Haze spam. But he's getting more health back, so... Old Tusk first. Um, and if he Terra Dragons, which is the more concerning um, Terra he could do, right? Because that's, I can knock. Um, then at the very least, I, uh, if he does Terra Dragon, he'd have to Phantom Force. It's better to just, I'll knock. Um, I was going to say EQ. Dragon Dart still is not a sure kill. But Pex can obviously take the hit now. Dusk is gone, which opens up his room a bit more. But if it's Dragon Dance, nothing he could go for. When he, he hasn't terrored yet. Um, it's not here. There's no terror he could use that uh, would, would allow him. So he doesn't want to. It could be Terror Ghost. Uh, Surf should kill 10%. Doesn't matter if it doesn't. I'm going to count this. Pult's no slouch, and Pex is horrible. So, this is a relevant cal calc. I'd assume 10% can be done, but you never know. You never know. Yeah, okay, we get 10. Alright. And he's still chilling. Now, I saved my mouse hole. All the mods I have were strategic saves. Right? Peck shuts down his Valiant. Yeah, I go hard Valiant here. Because um, there's nothing you could ever do to beat Valiant. He's lefties for some reason. Um, this is actually a horrible position for him. Like, unless... Uh, like, yeah, there should be nothing he can do to one-shot Valiant. Because um, Valiant has, yeah, his decent defense. What the fuck? <sighs> Sup, Ironhead, bro? This is why you're 17th and not play. <laughs> what the fuck? Why, bro? That, that's my question. Why? Why me? Why me? No, it's a... Uh, that's a big loss. That is a big deal. This is a horrible coverage. For what he has, like, in most cases, this would be horrible. Unless it's, what, Crunch? So if I go... Pex, Haze... He subs, and I D he DDs again... He's getting leftovers. Yeah, that's not gonna work for me. So I gotta go um, D Knight EQ and then E Speed. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a, a motherfucking game. Please, for the love of fucking God, bro! Shit! <laughs> like that the earthquake damage. If he has a dragon move, I'm done. Dragon steel coverage, dude. You know, somebody commented recently. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I edit the comment in there. It's like, Jam, you are the unluckiest person I've ever watched. Or the most unlucky, or whatever the, the superlative would be. Jesus. You, you cannot make this stuff up. He's, he's fucking, um. He's, um. He's Earthquake. That's his other move. So my D Knight EQ'd once, E Speed. He has to Valiant. Like, if he goes to Hydreigon, I win. So he has to Valiant, which opens up Pex. Hmm. Okay. So that's, that's the game. That's the game. That's the life. That's the life. My soul, we tried. Um... <laughs> Iron head, bro. Well, I see now why he has it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.